Buju. That's high in Ojibwe. Yeah, so today's topic is visibility and expression. And one of the things that I want you to know is that I was deadly shy for a long time. Uh, I knew I had uh, gifts of expression and that I could be articulate and I knew that I had uh, convictions, but kind of putting it together was, uh, was kind of a tough road. And I think I'm, I'm saying that because uh, I've, I've noticed that a lot of people that I work with and come to Wild Earth Intensives and that sort of thing are, um, they're not just shy, they're reticent, I think, to um, really share what is uh, most important to them. But they, you know, they eventually certainly get warmed up. Um, and in a sense, that's really the point of this, this little talk is that in the right atmosphere, when leaders care and leaders um, are looking for the best in everybody and leaders realize that every single person is completely unique, uh, an incredible cosmos uh, unto themselves. It's, uh, it's kind of, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing to watch people flower. You know, there's, it's a, I think that what we're doing here in some some way is we're we're learning how to how to flower as humans, and um, yeah, that's a chickadee saying hi. Pretty sweet, right? Flowering humans uh, that we're we're watering each other with some with some love and kindness, and it's important to be tender and kind to ourselves. I mean, one of the reasons what, that I had a really hard time expressing myself is that I was uh, intensely critical of whatever was coming out of my mouth. It wasn't good enough. And uh, I always, yeah, I always thought it could be better. And uh, I used to pray um, before I would speak in a in a talking circle, I would pray that whatever came out of my mouth would, would be okay and that I would find it uh, acceptable. So that's a little, if you're, if you're, if you feel yourself um, being shy to, to speak out in groups, that's a really, really good prayer. And of course, that's, um, that's, only one part of being visible. I mean, the other, the other part of it is once you realize that you can't, you know, you can speak about what you believe. You can play music. You can, uh, you have poetry to give. Um, you have artistic expression. I think the next thing is praying to praying to all the spirits, spirit guides, the great spirit, to, um, to be able to share your gifts that, that whatever you love to do, um, whatever you love to share, it matters. Uh, it really, really matters. And if you don't do it, it's not going to get done. And in a sense, it's essential that you that you do it. So, not getting caught up in perfectionism because it's never perfect, but it's good enough. Um, taking baby steps, one step at a time, towards um, essentially shining your light, showing how beautiful you are, uh, 
sharing your unique perspective because nobody nobody has the perspective that you do um, and uh, and hopefully all of our shared shared perspectives born of love and hope and optimism and caring deep caring caring about the earth and each other like that's you know that's positive evolution right there that is uh raising the bar for all the younger ones uh to come up you know so visibility can mean a lot of different things to different people in different ways i mean you know it is the TikTok generation but youtube and social media are certainly not the the only ways um i i you know i work with somebody who she's a superstar when it comes to uh to audiences uh and it you know it took it took time energy and practice to feel comfortable being visible in front of actual people but that's what it's all about. Practice, practice, practice.